Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today I've got for you a New Year's look for a lazy girl. Remember that because I wasn't even in the mood of taking this video to be honest. But yeah, we've kept the skin quite glowy, slight contouring and there is also quite a bit of glitter on my eyelids. I hope you guys can see that. First I need to wish you all the very best of luck for this new year and yeah, I hope to bring you many more videos. Let's just jump into this one. <laughs> All right, everyone, so first thing always is skin prep. And I'm using this really mini Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This cream is perfect for people with dry skin. It gives the perfect amount of glow. Um, it primes the skin really well. If there's anyone watching from Vancouver, this is what they were giving out, you know, the, the beauty rewards for 100 points. So I picked up five of these. <laughs> Because like the actual cream, as you all know, is so expensive. So, well, I picked up five of these and that's seven ml each. So not to waste too much time, I used my favorite correctors. I also went in with a little bit of the Star Shape Tape to conceal my eyelid. I'm going to start with eyes first and I'm going to use this Tarte's Pro Palette. This has traveled pretty much everywhere with me, wherever I went. I'm going to use two shades that is bold and this taupey shade that's indie. And I'm going to start using this from my outer corner just for some dimension to that eye. I'm also taking it right under my crease here. By the way, uh, I want to keep this look really easy because not only am I feeling a little unwell because we've been going for ski classes, also because of the fact that this is somewhat of a lazy girl's New Year Eve look, <laughs> you know. Now using a medium fluffy brush like this, I'm going to pick up this color called Pro Fresh. And once again, I'll just start using this only in the outer V and I'm really pulling it outwards. With anything that's left on the brush here, I'm gonna take it right into this area because it just brings so much more drama to the look. <laughs> and I'm just kind of like blending this into my brow. Basically, I'm trying to create a little bit of shadow here. And I'm gonna do that on both the eyes. Remember to keep a clean brush handy and just clean the edges. I want to bring a little warmth to this look so I'm going to use this shade which is called Whimsy on a nice fluffy brush like this and with really barely anything on my brush because I don't want it, I want this look to be definitely more on the cooler side. I'm just working this around the edges of Pro Fresh, around that Pro Fresh that I had placed the color. And I'm just really bringing this out all the way towards my temple here. And even on the inner corners, like near the bridge of my nose here. And I'll just work the rest all over my lid. Again, there is really nothing much left on this brush. I just want like a wash of warmth, just a little bit. Who doesn't love a little bit of glitter for New Year's Eve, right? <laughs> I'm going to use this Moon Dust eyeshadow. I have used this in one previous video. I'm going to try and link it here, but I am really in love with this. Can you see how it just gives a hint of that shimmer? So I'm just going to take this on my finger. Oh, it looks so good. Just check this out. And I'm going to start applying it starting from the inner corner. And I'm really working this all the way up to my brow bone here. And the same thing on this eye. I'm gonna pull that into my brow bone here. Obviously you can add as much as you want. It almost gives your lid like a nice wet look. Now I am going to bring a little more definition to that inner corner, like up here. With a flat kind of defined brush like this, I'm going to go in with that color Pro Fresh. I'm going to start darkening just a little outside here, just to create like a false crease almost. So I'm going above where my natural crease lies kind of creating like a new crease there and I'm just 
just bringing this like halfway. On the same brush, I took a little bit of that Pro Fresh and the black, create a little more kind of definition to this look. Can you see I'm doing it like in very short movements. This eye needs a little bit of a different placement because the skin on this eye for me folds very differently from the skin on my left eye. Let's see, I have to take this up. I'm really holding the mirror straight and you should do this if you have hooded eyes. Just buff it a little bit higher just to bring some balance in both the eyes. So at this point, this is how the look should look like. Now I'm trying to show you the undertone so that you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. <laughs> now I'm going to use my liner. This is the ink dot. Kind of like to drop down this line a little bit. Just taking this up. So when you have hooded eyes, just remember to keep your mirror straight forward. I will be doing my brows off camera, I'm just saying in advance. So if you guys want to know how to make thin brows look nice and big and fluffy, there's a video link that will come up here in the corner right now. I've taken my NARS Syracuse shade. This Shea Glow foundation is honestly one of my most favorite foundations ever. The most perfect coverage when it comes to you know looks for any special occasion applying it with my beauty blender in really thin layers you really honestly don't need that much contour i'm just using a little bit of this tom ford one so we want to sculpt a nice high cheekbone very subtly i don't want too much so this is where this comes handy I like to hide all that extra holiday calories <laughs> that I've put on. Take some to contour my nose. Time for some highlight. So into outer corners, inner corners, kind of down the bridge of my nose. Definitely here to brighten. And my chin blend with the beauty blender and we're just bringing a little bit more light into you know the face by placing it on all these high points and i'm using my Givenchy powder just to set that concealer now under my eyes i'm taking a mix of indie and pro fresh yes pro fresh and i'll just kind of like darken my under uh, my lower lid here and this actually why I mainly do is it really helps with morphing any fine lines that are there you know so for blush I'm using this one by Patrick Da I'm just very lightly going to bring color to the cheeks and mind you this brush is filled with a lot of hourglasses luminous flush so <laughs> just so you know so you know that pinkish hue will actually come through which is fine I mean I want it actually just gonna put a little bit of that merit bronzer to bring some warmth back to the skin on the sides of my face here and even some on the forehead a little bit of this gold Dior highlighter on all of my high points. The lips, I'm just going to start off with this Patrick Ta She's Bold lip liner all over my lips. A little of this highlighter on the collarbones. Um, how can we forget? I almost forgot my lashes, <clears throat> so I'm going to give them a little curl first. I used two mascaras today. This is a telescopic for a little more length. I don't know if you can see my cat. Yeah, my kid, my kitty is here and she's watching me do my makeup. Your baby. <laughs> and the Smart Jacobs mascara for a little more volume. I'm just gonna use this Clinique Black Honey um, Balm whatever it is 
is to give the lips a little bit of color and moisture back. Next is setting spray. This is a watermelon glow fine mist from Glow Recipe. Now to take care of the texture, a, a powder. This is the MAC Studio, Studio Fix <laughs> in NC. Gosh, NC42. So I'm just using this on these high points wherever you can see that shine. This is like always my last step. If you've been watching my videos by now, you should know. So that's it. This is my lazy girl New Year's Eve party look. I hope it's easy to recreate. You know, obviously if you don't want to go in with this, you can make it slightly more easier. But this just adds a little bit of that extra mysteriousness to the look. <laughs> I feel so. And obviously don't forget, you know, your neck and shoulders. I'm so out of words today, so I'm just gonna keep it short. Have a happy new year and I'll see you guys soon in three years. <laughs> Take care and bye-bye.